Hi friends, happy Wednesday. Welcome back to our read aloud for today. Today we're gonna to continue hitting our learning target of I can identify the main idea of a story. That means that you can tell us what the story is mostly about. So we've been talking about apples and we've been reading nonfiction texts, which are texts that give us facts about apples. We've also been reading fictional stories. So stories that have information about apples in them, but they're not books that we go to to learn facts, such as looking up the apple cycle if we wanted to. So today we're gonna read a story called The Apple Pie Family. So already as a reader, I'm making connections in my brain, I'm drawing on my schema of what I know about apples, and I'm thinking about apples and what goes into an apple pie. I'm not thinking about pumpkins, I'm not thinking about what I'm gonna to do today after school. I'm thinking about apples. So this story is written by Gary Thompson and illustrated by Winifred Barnum Newman, quite a name. So before we get started, let's train our brains to remember what an author does. So let's get out our pretend book and a pencil and we're gonna sing our author song. Ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three. The author writes the words, the author writes the words, the author writes the words we read in a story. Good. Now we're going to get out our blank paper and pretend paintbrush, and we're going to sing what the illustrator does. Ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three. The illustrator draws the pictures, the illustrator draws the pictures, the illustrator draws the pictures that we see in a book. So what does the author do? Write the words. What does the illustrator do? Draw the pictures. Good. So let's look at our book today, written by our author and illustrator who I just read about the apple pie family. Here's our title again. On this page, we see a different picture. We see just an apple pie. And then here's where our story begins on page two. Our family loves to make apple pies. Grandma and Grandpa grow the apples. Look at them sitting up there in their apple tree. We help pick the apples. We fill many baskets. Where do you think they are? It looks like they're picking the apples from the apple trees themselves, maybe on a farm. We wash the apples. We peel the apples. So look at I'm going through this little assembly line to wash the apples and then they peel them. So you notice once they go through, they're peeled. They don't have that outer skin on it. We sift the flour. We pour the milk. So in my brain, I'm thinking, oh, these are ingredients that we add to our apple pie. We roll out the dough. We put it in the pans. Oh, this is how Amelia Bedelia and her grandma did it too. Look at that, I can make a connection to another book. We add the apples. We measure the sugar. We put the pies in the oven. Ooh, yummy. We cook them slowly. But we eat them quickly. Yum. So this book told us all about how to make an apple pie. The steps all the way from the beginning to the end. So the main idea of our book is how to make an apple pie with the apple pie family. The supporting details are all those details that we learned about what goes into making an apple pie. Picking the apples, peeling and coring the apples and cleaning them, adding, or chopping them up and then adding sugar and flour. So all of those are our supporting details to our story today of the apple pie family. I hope you guys enjoyed that story. I'll see you tomorrow for your last read aloud of the week. Great job, friends.